get you warmed up here. First thing is posture, remember? Tight abs, light curve in your low back. Chest up a little. Take your shoulders straight up. Pinch them back slightly. Come and drop down. And head stays centered right over your shoulders. Looking great. All right, let's go right into that warm up now. Okay. All right. First thing is three deep breaths. Come up, reach up tall. Great. One. And two. And three. Great. Relax your arms. Go into your neck. Hold your posture. Chin down. Four of these. The first time through, you maybe should just watch the whole thing or keep your remote control close so that you can stop and start and, and get a feel and learn each exercise before you do the whole thing all the way through. All right, let's keep your shoulders right there. Look to the side. Great. Good, slow, fluid motion. Come to a stop. Back to the other side. Let's do one more on each side. Keep comfortable. Good, one more time. Good, holding your posture, keep your shoulders yeah, right there. Yeah, gotta keep those abs tight. Exactly, you wanna hold that, you're doing good. All right, let's uh, finish with your neck, drop your chin down, roll it to your right and roll it to your left, half circle. Half circle. Good, four times, good. Good, and back to the center, right arm. Bring your arms up. Small circle. Start with a spiral. Do four forward. Small to big. Let's reverse. All right. See your shoulders forward and back. Across. Hug yourself. Big and hugs. Back. There you go. That's great. Being good exercising, I get a hug. <laughs> Give yourself four hugs. Okay. Wide. Great. Wide. Just warm up your legs, hands on your waist. Okay. Just forward. Back. Good. Hold the tummy tight. There you go. Good posture. Here is an example of how to do this exercise standing up. Good, keep your legs in and out. And we're working both legs here as much as we can. So work those steps now. When you're ready, just keep your legs in and out. Okay. Those steps one there. There you go. Remember, we're working both sides. And use this right side as much as you can. While exercising, it's helpful to visualize your full leg beyond your stump. It helps elongate the stretching in your leg. So we're going to start a new foot movement, the V, which is to the left, to the right. Actually, I can move both my legs together on that one. I have to remember to exercise my stump, too. Go ahead and move both legs together. That's great. Get more hip involved. Let's bring your knee to your chest. Good, good, good stretch across your hamstring and your glutes. Good, hold your chest up. Remember to bring your knee towards your chest. Good job. Good, and relax. Let's go to the other side. Pain is a sign to stop. If you experience pain doing any of these movements, please stop and consult your doctor. All right, let's relax your legs. Let's bring your arms across your chest. Slow trunk twist. Good, good range of motion. Chest stays up. Keep your head in neutral, that's great. Breathing on every twist. Feel your side just loosening up. Okay, let's get one more. Alright, relax in the center. 
Your arms straight up. Reach up tall. Good. All right. And relax. Before the reach up tall again. Great. Oh, I feel taller on it. Good. All right. Two more. Reach up tall. One more. Hold your arms up there. You're going to reach high to the right. And reach high as you reach out. I do that right. I really feel it in my underarm, not just great. my side. Great. Right to your side. Uh -huh. All the right way. To the, all the way down. That's great. Side. Exactly. Let's do four to the side. Looks great. You're reaching high and you're reaching out. You're not just bending sideways. Good. Okay, let's get one more. Your, your hips are doing great. You're staying flat on the chair. From your waist. Excellent. Great. Let's go four to the other side. Do you notice anything different from one side to the other? I, I do. The sure. balance is a little different. Okay. And maybe I can't quite go as far on one side as the other. Right. But that's okay. It's exactly. Yeah. It's okay. It's something to be aware of. Let's get one more. And great. Come back to the center. Bring your arms down. Let's relax. Take a deep breath, arms up, swing up, and swing your arms back down. And relax. And great warm up. Good. You ready? You ready for that cardio? Yeah. All right, yeah, let's take a little up. water break. It's loose. It's good. All right. Remember in the cardio, we're going to do the perceived exertion instead of heart rate check. That's right. A scale of 1 to 10. 1 is dozing, 5 is comfortable, and 10 is very intense. Like and when you can't talk anymore? Exactly. Yeah. And fall off the chair and all the bad stuff. Yeah, all yeah right. no, we don't want to get that, right. that intense. So at the end of three minutes, we'll do a perceived exertion. When it'll be about a five at that point, we'll move up into higher intensity and go up to about seven or eight. All right? Let's begin. When you're ready, let's start off with a leg movement. Okay, I'm going to do up. these in a chair, but for some people, they may want to do them standing up. Exactly. If right. If you are comfortable or you want to wear your legs. You yes. Right. So we've modified uh, things that we can do with this. Great. You're right. Let's do it in a chair. Okay. Hold in posture. So we're going to start with a leg movement. Back exactly. and forth like we did in the warm-ups. If you feel the pace and intensity of the exercises are too fast for you, slow down your workout. We're glad you pick up the pace. Every movement we add is going to add intensity. We're going to add arms, bicep curls, squeeze those. Get a little comfortable doing the arms and the legs together. One more set and then we're going to switch to lateral arms up to the shoulders. about eight reps on each of these. We're doing two sets of eight at first. And as you go through from the top, we'll start off with all the movements over from the top, looking back to eight reps. Go right through from the beginning. Exactly. Three, four, and then up. Two, three, four, and then we're gonna try a new leg movement, which go. is going out. Good, now we're going to move both legs. There you go. Get that hip moving. And then we're going to add the arm movement. Clear the air. There you go. Push that stuff. No out. worries. Set of these, and then we're going to switch to a bigger arm movement that's like flying. After you go through these next sets of arm movements, we'll do your perceived exertion. Try to rate yourself here and pace yourself. Looking good. Good posture. Now we're going to switch to curved shoulders. You can really work your shoulders doing this one. It's good. The saddle belt working. One more set, and then we're going to do vertical scissors, and that's going to complete this set. We'll do the exertion check, and then start again from the top. All right, you got it down. Looking good. 
Practice it. See that glow? You're getting to warm up. Arms, legs, go back to the arms, legs, pores. Good. Good. Keep that leg moving just slowly. Tell me where you're at, Bonnie, on a scale of one to ten. I'd say I'm at about a five now. I'm breathing kind of hard, right. but it's not too hard. I could go at it. I could get more Good. intense. You look great. Hold that posture. All we're going to do now is just pick up from the top and add some more movements. Okay. Keep that intensity up. We're going to be in seven or eight for the rest okay. of the movements here. So we'll do keep four sets all the way through, sets of four all the way through what we've learned. Exactly. We're going to add some new stuff in. Pick the intensity up. Here we go. Laterals, one, two, three, four, straight up. And clearing the air. Well, let's stress out. Flying, I love this one. And shoulders. And scissors. Keep it up, that's it. Pick your intensity up, you're doing great. Okay, so we're gonna start a new foot movement, the V which is to the left, to the right. Good job, you have that both legs going. Keep That's those right, hips moving. I'm there you go. Residual limb. Four, three, two, one. Add the rowing. Looking good, holding that posture, keeping your chest up. Great exercise for the upper back muscles. One more set. The rowing, and then we're going to go to punching. And Keep those legs punch, moving. Punch, punch, punch. There you punch, go. That's oh, good. Punch, Keep it going, Bonnie. Punch, punch. Getting my aggressions out. <laughs> Seven, eight, and then side, side. It's like my little rockets routine here. You look good. You're going to challenge them. You can step right in and challenge them. Doing good. Keep it going. We're set, and then we're going to try adding a little kick. Gotcha. <laughs> Keep those abs tight. Keep that posture. Six, seven, eight, and then from the top. Three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. Four and one, two, three, four, and flying, two, three, four. Take it away, body. Shoulders, two, three, four, and scissors, two, three, four, and rowing, two, three, four, and Good job, Bonnie. Keep it going. Both legs. Three, four. Good job. Keep it going now. Do you want to do one more set of fours all the way through? Yes. Okay. I think I can do it. I'm going to work right. hard. I can do it. Done. Pace yourself. Two, one. You're doing great. Two, three, four, and ladder. Two, three, four, and straight up. Two, three, four, clear the air. No worries. Four, fly away. Two, three, four, and shoulders. Okay. There you go. Okay. There you go. Okay. All right. Where's the procedure? There's your mat. Oh, How are you doing? Eight, nine. You're not, <laughs> a, you're not falling off. All right. You're doing yeah. good. All right. I'm keep going. Hard. All right. You look at good intensity. Keep your posture going there. It's gonna finish this up. A few more sets. We'll bring you into the cool down. All right. 
Good job. Keep it going, though. Do you want to do one more set of fours all the way through? Yes. Doing great. Two, three, four, ladder. Two, three, four, and straight up. Two, three, four, four, fly away. Two, three, four, and shoulders. Almost there. Keep four. it going. Then we want to just do the arms to cool down. Good posture. Three, That's it. Bring yourself down. Four and lateral. Two, three. Finish it up. And straight up. Two, three, four. Clear in the air. Lying. Bringing your exertion down to about a five right now. Shoulders. And ending up at a three. your arms in, just want the last and leg movement. The legs cool down. And then out, cool down. And the knees cool down. You worked great, Bonnie. Keep it going. Feet on here. Posture looks good yet. You're doing great. <gasps> All right. Good. Good, deep breath. good job. Good. Oh. All that stress out. Good job. Working harder and harder every day. That's a great cardio workout. You deserve a water break. Thanks. Take that water in. Oh. It's a great workout. Your perceived exertion was good. You went from that five after the warm up phase into the higher level intensity. It cooled it you back down. It harder and harder. It does. The more time you do, it might feel easy at first, but you're going to get fatigued at the end. So good job. Thanks. All right, we're going to the strength and exercises next. Great. All right. Remember, we started off without using any weights at all. And do all the movements that way. We started adding some weights, two and a half pounds and five pounds. That's what we're going to use today. Okay, yeah, right. we've been working up to five pounds. This great. is great. Pretty I'm going to yeah. pick the weights up off the floor, but somebody might want to put them on a chair, another chair or a exactly. table, if that's too low. Exactly. And always remember picking up from the floor, especially hold your abs tight, hold good posture, all right? Mm -hmm. We're working through a series of exercises seated, working the lats first. So let's keep yourself straight, lean forward from your hips. You hold the back flat, eyes lean forward. Yeah, good job. You always tell me to keep my head up because that keeps my back flat. Exactly. You drop your head, you lose your back. All right. Good job. Working your lats. You pinch up right through between the yeah, shoulder blades. Good. Pull those weights up right back towards your hips. There you go. Expose the lats right through there. Good job. Do 12 reps. Again, we're working on technique. If you get fatigued, you might do a few less, you might do a few more. It's always doing good quality. Good job. All right. We're going to finish with this. We're going to sit up with two more. Finish straight up, good posture. That's good. Excellent. All right, abs tight. You do the shoulder press. Starting straight up, moving up overhead. Really critical on here is keep your abs tight. Do great range of motion. Great exercise for your deltoids. Again, we're doing 12 reps. Good technique. Target is right in that range of 12. Two more. You're doing great. Two. Great. Okay, let's wrap the last way to the sides. Good posture. You can lock your shoulders in right here. There you go. Drop the hands just to the sides of your hips. You do 12 bicep curls. Shoulders stay right here. The posture looks good. Breathing is great. Squeeze your forearm right into your bicep. Remember, firm grip, not a death grip. All right? Let's keep going on to 12. Finish right there. Okay, again, good posture. And we'll go over to a bent over roll again from your hips. Elbows are flared out this time. Abs. Exactly. And chest up. Chin up. Get one more. 
Now the form is really more important right. than just the macho of it. It's it really is. Squeeze right under your armpit. Yep, right up next to there. There you go. It's a good place to think of it. A great postural exercise. You can use muscles that draw your shoulder right back. I don't think about it. Keep it going. Drop the weight. I lost count. How many more is that? Let's get four more. Good job. Last one. I'm going to grab the weights for you, Bonnie. Thank Let's move you. into your legs a little bit right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. To your heel raises. Okay. So that's a good posture. Lift your heel up off the floor. Come straight up on your toe. This is a good one to try to imagine doing it with my exactly. missing leg, too. I visualize doing it with my leg that's been amputated. I heard that that can even help you with phantom pains by just imagining using the muscles. I found that with the motor patterns, it's actually going to help to release some of that phantom pain in the residual limb. All right, so two more. Push straight up on the toe and relax the heel down. All right, let's do the opposite. Let's put your toes up towards your shin. That's good, there right? You go. Good work for the tibialis muscle there. You're going to stretch your calf out a little bit. This leg works double time. I could take care of this leg. Two more. One, two. Good job. Right, we're done with your legs okay. for right now. We'll come back and do a few more in a minute. Let's go to your neck. That's some good posture. Remember, your hand is a brace. Your head is pushing against your hand. Hold that. Get my abs tight. Exactly. I can feel it all the way from the head to my abs. Right from your core. That's great. And your posture looks so good here. Keep breathing throughout this. Good job. One more on each side. Let's hold it. It's so important for an amputee to have a strong core in through here to keep your posture straight and help your gait, keep you strong. Okay, and let's rest your hands right on your hips. Move into your legs and do a couple modified things for your right leg. Go into standing squats and we'll move to the mat. Right? Okay. Hip flexion is first. Hand on top of your leg, abs tight. Five, four, working it hard. Two, one, and relax. Good, and slip to the outside. Hip abduction, pushing out, pulling against your hand. You can recognize that this is easy or as hard as you want. You're so right. You don't have to push. You're right, you really can. Two more times. One. To the inside. Adduction. Inner thigh. Exactly. I love that And we'll go through these three one more time. Okay. Right there to the top. Hip flexion from the top. Five counts. Four. Three. Two. One. And outer thigh. Good. You got that leg, limb working a little bit. Let's have you stand up. We're going to do your squats. Okay. There you go. Let's share right here in front of you. All okay. right. Now we're good posture now. Tight abs. You hold your chest up. We're going to do 15 repetitions. We're going to pause for a minute. We'll do 15 more. All right. Okay. Here you go. Good set now. Comfortable range. Progression start off with a short range that we did a few weeks ago. And gradually progress to a deeper range. The next progression will be one hand on the chair and then eventually both hands on. Good job. I'm really glad when you pointed out to me that I wasn't using my glute on my amputee side. Remember, when you come up to that standing position, bring that right leg back, bring that it's right thigh back. It's squeeze all in through here. Exactly. Really good. Good. Job. Seven more. A little break. We'll do one more set of 15. Exactly. I lost count again, John. Two more. We're getting One. two more here. Three. Good. Just relax for a second. Reset okay. your posture. All right. Doing great through there. Remember just to keep that knee going right in line with your toes as you're coming up and down. Breathing in and breathing out in your movement. All right. So one more set of 15. Great. I guess I better try to go a little deeper this time. If you're comfortable, Bonnie, let's try about five at the end without your hands. I think you're ready for it. Get good balance. I saw you coming in here today. Five, ten more. You're doing great. I hear knee is at 
all sore or strained, you shouldn't be doing this. It's only when you're real comfortable. Okay, so I'll try some without my hands. Here we go, let's get three more. Four that way, you're doing good. Might add one or two more on. You're looking so good. Okay, I did it. All right, good job. All right, Bonnie, we just finished your leg exercises. Let's finish the strengthening on the mat. Okay. All right, I'll get the chair out of the way. Thank you for all your help. Well, you're doing great here. Great. Oh, quick right. water? A quick water break, all right. As you move into the strength, and we're just going to go through a series for your upper body, all right? Okay. If, uh, if I didn't want to do this on a mat, I could do it on a firm bed, couldn't exactly. I? If I didn't want to get all the way right. on the floor. Mat of comfort level, what you have available, a firm bed works great. Okay. Remember, as you lie down either on a mat or on a firm bed, you can have your knee bent, so your low back's pretty much of a, a okay. s uh, safe position there. It's kind of a relaxed, comfortable position. All right, let's move into the exercises for your chest. Okay. Starting right up here. Arms are straight up. Let's bring your palms towards your knees. There you go. Move wide. Like move to the arc. center. Exactly. Shoulder blades stay pressed in the floor. Keep your chest up. Working right into your pecs right through here. That's great. You have Keep to it squeeze going. them. They don't automatically get squeezed unless you think about them. Exactly. Work that chest. Three to 12 reps again. Keep it going. The weight's over your chest. Nine. Ten. Two more. We're going to stop on top. Eleven. And stop. Perfect. Palms towards each other. Arms stay straight. Let's move into your triceps. Straight arms. Even weights back. Elbows stay frozen right there. Bend the elbow. Right there. Towards the floor. Light touch on the floor. Almost down there. There you go. Back up. Twelve reps again. Great exercise for your triceps. They have to stay tight. That last half inch, you bring it all the way up. It gives you the most workout. You're right, that magical half inch. Good job, halfway. Four more reps. You've got to have your elbows fine back, too. Exactly. And last one. Good, pause right there. All right, let's bring your leg down, abs tight. Bring the weights right over here, narrow over your hips, and go back into a wide V. Again, 12 reps, now keep your abs tight. Good straight arms. Comfortable range, right back there is great. And is that working out my, right under my arms too? You're right, it's kind of a combination of muscles. You're working your lats when you're back there. You start from here to enter your delts. Now it's lats and back, enter your delts. Slow. Job. One more rep. And stop by your hip. Pause. Move the weights wide outside of your hips. And let's go narrow above your head. Great. Abs stay tight. Four. Five. Looking good. You're getting there. Not much left. Got much energy left. Yep, good feels job. good, I feel All right. strong. Three more reps. Move into your abs after this. This the last right, one? Last one right here. Okay, I'm gonna wait for your hips, set them on the floor. Good job, let's bend your knee again. Good. Bring your arms across your chest. Head into neutral, you're looking up at the ceiling. You breathe the air out, and crunch in. Bring your ribs towards your hips. Tight abs. Flatten out your abs as you crunch up. Hit 12. Keep going. Head looks straight. Halfway there. I have to keep looking up, otherwise I strain my neck. If I exactly. look down. Good job. Three more. Eleven. Twelve. And rest back down. All right. Let's bring your right hand to your left side. Oh, left hand across. Please. I know you love these. I love All these. Right. I love them. I Come love them. Come up. Right shoulder to your right hip, left hip. Cross the body. Excellent. Good. Flatten that tummy. 12 again. Good. These have made the most difference for me as an amputee to really give me a strong gait and good posture and, you know, just make it easier to walk. Good. And remember, we want to develop that symmetry as much as we can. Got three more reps here. Keep it going. 
jab. That's one. Great. Let's switch hands. Good. Right there. Same thing. Keep it going. You're doing great. You really exhale on every one. You work a lot deeper. You're right. You're doing great. Halfway there. Two more. Good job. And relax. Head rest down. Good job. So just legs stretch all the way out slowly. Just relax right there. Good job. And one more ab exercise left. Let's bend your knees. You're going to flip back in. All right. You're going to tighten your abs. Press your low back tight to the floor. All right. Fingertips right in your abs. Cue that. Keep that abs tight right through there. You press your legs out slowly. Pause. And bring it back in. Halfway there, keep it going. Tight abs, good job. Remember, as you get stronger, you can lower your legs further. If it's too difficult at the end, just shorten the range with your legs. Three more. Good job, and last one. Tight, tight abs, good, bring them in. Good, rest your foot on the floor. All right, relax. All right. Um, we're finished with that again. If you want to do more, sometimes you can do another set of each of those. But for now, that was a great workout right there. Let's work into the back of your legs and hips and low back. Palms out at your sides, palms up. Let's bring them down just a little bit from there. There you go, on the V, that's it. Your low back is going to stay in this position right here, tight to your abs. You're going to do a bridge, pressing through your foot, lifting your hips up just to that flat position without arching your back. Perfect. Breathing in as you lower it. There you go. That breathing going. 12 reps. Got two. Tighten the bottom. Squeeze the bottom. Halfway there. Good job. Keep it going. Three more. Good. Last one. Great job. Good. Relax down. All right. Okay. All right. Now let's do another position here. We're working a little more emphasis on your back. All right. So isolating. You launch your back or stomach face down. Twist your forehead right on the backs of your hands. Elbows out. Okay. What we're going to do now is really emphasize the glutes. The hip, uh, hip extensors, hamstrings, and glutes, all right? Okay. Keeping your back pretty much just as it is. You're going to tighten your glute. Let's bring your left leg right off the floor. Lift that thigh up and hold. And down. Light touch the floor without relaxing. Let's get 12. Five. Six. Good job, honey. Seven, eight. Remember, comfortable range to your back isn't arching. Two more. And 12. Relax that leg down. Let's go to the other side. Right leg, same thing. Tighten the glute. 12 reps. And nine. You know, with these, you get out what you put in. Exactly. It's really the form that matters the most. If you're squeezing at the top of each exercise, you get a lot more out of it. Now, four more. Doing great. Great. We're going to finish up one more rep here. Great. And pause right there. Relax. And knee bent. Guess what? We're done with legs uh, strengthening. Oh, great. All around. So we're All range of motion exercise. Exactly. Let's have you sit up tall. Okay. And then grab some water here. Remember, a little bit of water every 10 to 15 minutes is, is very important. All right. It makes me feel better, too. It's like my exactly. reward. Here's your fish. <laughs> exactly. Plus, you get a little break from me giving you a hard time here. All right. Let's sit up tall. We reach your arms straight up overhead. Reach up high.
We're gonna hold these a little bit longer than we did in the warm up. Bring your arms straight up and hold. Let's reach high and to the right. Bending from your waist. Remember to reach up high and reach out. Good, go to the left side. Good, back to the right. It's one, we have three of these. Here we go. Now, one more time, each side, good posture, chest up, breathing yeah, throughout. Keep those abs tight. There you go. Relaxing a little bit on this, we're still staying up tall. Good. Let's stop in the middle when you come out. Let's bend your arm and grab onto your wrist. We'll do a tricep stretch. Pull it across. There you go. And hold. Five. Feels good. Four. Whole side. Three. Two. One. Switch to the other side. Other arm up. Good job. Hold that. Good stretch, good posture. Makes me feel slimmer and taller. Okay, let's finish with your legs here on your back. Turn them uh, side forward a little bit on that. Do a little bit of a hamstring stretch. Let's grab behind your knee. Right there, good. Let's put your legs come out just a little bit. Start right here. Now straighten up first. Contract. Good stretch in the hamstring. There you go. Hold that. Five. Four. We can do both if you want, or you can just do one at a time. We're fine right now if you're involved. Let's bend this knee a little bit. Bend back there. Let's straighten up one more time. Good. Okay. Great. Let's hold that for another five pounds. Okay, and relax. All right, bring your legs back down to the mat. And actually, bring them all the way flat down. Reach your arms overhead. I know you love this one. You're getting yeah. taller every workout. Yeah. Right, good. Tighten your abs and glutes a little bit. And then relax. And again. Stretches just make you feel so good after the workout. It's a great time to do it. You warmed up. We did the warm up, cardio, strength. It's a great time to do the stretching right now. It's going to be very effective. Relax. And one more. Hold that. Just breathe in and out. Relax. So let's do one more rep. And relax. Uh, let's hook your hands behind your thighs and pull your knees to your chest. And hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax a little bit. Come back in. This time you're going to curl your head and shoulders up towards your thigh. Here you go. Hold that. Oh, Five, that's a good stretch. Four, three, two, one. And relax. Okay. What you do now is bring your arms out to your sides. Push out wide, you're going to do the trunk twist. Okay. Then we're going to reach out far with one hand and look towards that shoulder and bring the hips the other way. Okay, there you go. Great. Just think of breathing and relaxing, letting this just relax. And one, let's switch to the other side. Look this way, reach out far, hips roll over and hold. Five, four, three, two. Let's grab your thigh and pull it up towards your shoulder. Head back to neutral, look straight up towards the ceiling. There you go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Done with those right there. Let's go onto your knees and hands. Actually, mm -hmm. flat on your stomach first. We'll do the sphinx stretch. I know you love this one. I feel Egyptian. Exactly. Okay, here we go. Comfortable range for your back. Remember, elbows underneath your shoulders. If you're ever tight or sore with this, we'll just reduce the range. When you're by... not here, I always want to do it like this, and I know that's exactly. too much strain on my back. Right, because right, so you see that. You probably... under my shoulders. Exactly. You'll probably bring your hips up when you do that. So good range right there. If you're comfortable, you can press up. And one day, uh, day you're not comfortable, you're not going to be able to press up as high. Let's relax back down to your shoulders and elbows. Relax right through there. Hold that. And press up again. And hold. Remember, hips stay down. Just keep breathing. And two. 
one, relax. Let's go on your hands and knees and do the cat back stretch. Right there, let your head drop, push your tummy tight, push your abs up toward the ceiling and hold it. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Just into a flat back. And one more time, head drops, tighten your abs, push up to the ceiling. Four, three, two, one, and relax, flat back. Let's sit back on your heel and reach, reach out with your hands, drop your head and chest towards the floor. Just reach out high. Good These stretch. are the ones I love because I can't do with my leg on, and I love working out with my leg off. Exactly, it's a good stretch for you in this position. You're working, you're stretching your lats out, seeing those muscles relax that we just worked. And sit, good posture here. Just gonna finish up with a few more movements. We'll go back into your shoulders a little bit. Let's just do a shoulder roll forward. Do five of those going forward and five going backwards. Ready, here we go. One, two, and three, four, and five. Let's reverse, good job. Good posture. And relax, good. Let's go ear to shoulder. Good posture. Just straight ahead. tell me to put my hand down. Exactly, let's anchor that hand down, keep that shoulder down. Be a great stretch at the side of your neck right through here. Hand out, keeps me from spreading my shoulders away. And hold that for five more counts. Four, three, two, and one. Head to neutral. Good. Let's reach out your right arm. Get to your left shoulder. And hold that. Five, four, three, two, and one. And relax. Bring your hands to your waist. Let's just turn your right to your right first. Make sure that you can hold that. And hold it. Remember to keep your torso square, holding good posture, especially in the neck exercises. Definitely hold your posture in place. Right, let's hold this a little further to your shoulder. There you go. Good. A little stretch. Remember, slight tension, never pain. All right. If you feel uncomfortable when you come out of it, you stretch a little bit too much. Go to your left. Do one more on each side. Hold this for five, four, three, two, one. So back to the right shoulder. Hold it for four, three, Two, one, and to the left. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to the center. Let's just drop your chin down towards your chest. That's great. Relax there. Good. Slowly look up towards the ceiling. Again, comfortable range. Back as far as you're comfortable. And down again. And look back up. Good. Relax right there. Take your hands up, a deep breath in. Inhale, reach up high. Breathing all that stress out. Anything that's left, let's do two more. One more time. And relax. Guess what? I don't have anything left. Great job. Thanks. Get some water. Another great workout. Another great workout. And you're building, you're getting better every week. You're getting better.